Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 3, Part 37. And time to spend all my money. <laughs> I need to save money. Oh, look, I have to spend it. Son of a bitch. Anyways, we're going to go to Porsche, and we're going to buy this Porsche Cayenne Turbo, because it's the best choice for what we're about to do. So. Woo. So much for saving money, am I right? I'm right. Now, what color do I want to get this thing in? Eh, yeah, fuck it, let's get it in blue. So at least blue looks good. So, there we go. Now, is this going to show up in season play? Eh, aww. Damn. I was, I was getting hopeful. Oh, well. Anyway, it's time for the SUV road test. Limited to sport truck family of my cars. Which is probably all eight of the or seven of these right here. Pretty sure. Well, there's one missing actually, so there's eight overall. But still. Anyways, well, then again, the other one isn't actually an SUV; it's it's actual truck. But sh shut up, shut up. Details. Three more races to do for the segment, and we're gonna go to Sebring Short for our first race. <coughs> Two laps. Holy shit. Okay. That came out of nowhere. I love belching water. It's my favorite pastime. Anyways. So yeah. Sebring. I didn't choose Viper Ram because it's fucking E class. Meanwhile this Volks er, Volkswagen Porsche is C class, therefore. I would have had to heavily upgrade it, which I probably couldn't afford, so this is what we're doing. Suck me. So here we go. This is basically Porsche versus Porsche here. Everyone else doesn't matter. So time for some epic SUV racing. Hey, there's a truck. I got an amazing launch. Okie dokie. Let me just pass everybody, including Rossi and the other Porsche. Good shit. So now I just go and win, I guess. Works for me. I guess. Clearly. Yeah, it really helped that I got a better four wheel drive launch than Ross, eh? The rest don't matter. <laughs> oh god, I don't know how to do Sunset Bend with big ass fucker. Okay, that went well, actually. Hooray, I went around Sunset Bend with big ass fucker. Go me. Oh, shit. Way too late on the brakes. I got you don't get actual your lap invalidated for going off track there. It's weird. What the heck, game? What about you respecting the boundaries, man? At least there's no ice outside. You can fucking actually drive on it. Okay, well, this is probably gonna end up being an easy series. Um, go me. I really know how to pick them. 
I'm fucking awesome, aren't I? I don't even know. And there we go. Race one done. Hooray. <laughs> Beat Rossi by four and a half seconds in his own car. Take that, Rossi. You goddamn scrub. And we wait on everybody else. And we yawn and our jaw pops because that's what it does and yeah. I don't know. Anyways, moving on to race number two. Hey, Alex. Anyways, yeah, moving on to race number two. Oh, fuck. I have not seen new YouTube turns of service, Harry. I, I heard some was like, don't do... I, I don't know. I, I don't even know. Oh, you finally beat FF5. Nice, uh, Alex. Anyways, we're going to Catalonia School, sir. Oh, God, Catalonia School. Fuck. <laughs> Slam my glass that used to have water in it down. Upon the realization. Fucking Catalonia School, son of a bitch. I'm not sure which. What did I say? I'm not sure which to. I, I think I was like thinking some in my head and then. I, I, I don't know. I just. I don't know. I don't know anymore. It's fucking race. Hopefully win. That'd be nice. Can I do it on my first attempt? Can't do without the with these fuckers in my way. Okay, anyways. Alright, Rossi, let's do this. Which Porsche is best? Porsche, red or blue? Vote now on your phones. Damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. Fuck that up royally. Wow. Okay, go me. That was amazing. Yeah. There we go, got the dive on Rossi. Owned. Shnikes. Okay, we're good. Everything's fine. Moving on. Yeah, we still got two laps after this. Whoa! Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've heard that shit's been going down with Meme Star. Guess how much I care. I'll give you a hint. I don't. There's your hint. Now, guess how much I care. Oh god, okay. Okay, doing good. We're actually pulling away from Rossi, which is cool. So that just leaves one more lap to go. Oh, fuckers. I hate everything. Oh, fuck. I 
I'm just not gonna worry about the new terms of service of YouTube because fuck it. As long as some stupid faggot doesn't try to take advantage of it, which they will. As long as it doesn't affect me. Or people I care about. So I almost blew the win away. So I went very, very fucking wide on the sweeper, but nope, still got it. And then the AI goes off track. Because I didn't give him any chance to slow down. Because where that finish line is placed, so hooray. Hello, Galu. Sure, I think that's how it, you, you say. It's name say, anyways. There's that. Hey, Esposito beat Williams. Cool. It's only cool because class difference, or different class and stuff. Hey, I got this thing up to level two. Awesome. All right, so that leaves one more race to go. In the SUV road test. We are going to go to... Taking a while to load. We're going to, oh, okay. We're going to Sunset Peninsula Club Reverse. It's going to be an interesting uh, little race here. These big SUVs around fucking the peninsula. Plus it's reverse, so we're going to have the long run on the oval before the first turn. Oh god, that transi transition is going to be really interesting with these big honking motherfuckers. That's going to be really interesting. Holy yawn, Batman. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Time for the peninsula. And I hit the back of uh, whoever the hell that is. I think that was Esposito. And around Rossi because he sucks at launches apparently compared to me. Go me. I'm the ultimate launcher. I'm the ultimate lawn chair way too late on the brakes. Oh my god. I had a feeling that was going to happen. That was a really, really bad re-entry. I'm not sure why I thought I could, you know, break that late. I'm like, oh yeah, I can do it in normal cars. I can totally do it in this big ass fucking SUV. Totally. It's a Porsche. It can do it. Yeah, I know. I cut the corner. It was more so so I could have, like, a better re entry. Instead of just going, you know, flying back onto the track and then trying to turn right and going off some more and then fucking falling way the fuck behind. Hello, Rossi. How you doing? Okay, that one was my fault. So I was like scratching my nose. Okay, so break really early. If I actually want to, you know, make this turn. I'm seeing some clipping in my. Uh, rear window here, or something weird happening. I'm not exactly sure what. Okay, for a second there, I forgot which, uh, config of the peninsula we were doing here. The full course or the club course, because I always forget, and I don't bother to look at the map. Cause I'm a scrub. Okay, final lap.
Break it early. Okay, it was a little too early. Whatever, got the judge done. <coughs> and there's a sneeze. Sneezes are fun, except they're not. Oh, well, took out that thing. That didn't matter, because we're not going the uh, normal direction. Therefore, we don't need those breaking markers. And there we go. Easy enough. Once again, four seconds better than Rossi in the same car. Ha 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 ha. Take that, M. You fuckers. You are a fuckers. I don't know. Anyways. Hey, everybody made it across the line. Spears was almost half a minute behind me. Also, that was a short half a minute, it felt like. I don't know. I don't know mine. Anyways, there we go. That is the SUV road test complete. Boy, was that a humdinger of an event? I don't know. Ugh, back to under 100,000 credits. God damn it. But there we go. SUV road test complete. So next time in Forza 3, we're going to do the Coupe road test 2. And I think we'll go back to the season play because I think the game actually really wants me to do this one. So yeah, stay tuned for that.